Hey everybody, Mike Drudge from the VRV family of companies here at Vaught RV in Fort Worth, Texas. I looked around this morning and realized I have two very similar units sitting side by side. Rear bath models on a Feather and a White Hawk. Perfect opportunity to point out the differences between these two lines. I often get questions from folks, very legitimate questions. What's the difference and why should I pay more for a White Hawk? Only you can decide which one's best for you, but maybe this will be helpful to unpack the key differences between these two lines. Before we get started, let me point out five of the most significant differences between these two. Number one key difference, both units are going to have a front fiberglass cap like the Feather. However, on the White Hawk, you're also going to have an automotive style window in front. Number two, while both units are well insulated, there's an upgrade with the White Hawk in the Climate Shield package. You have a heated, insulated, enclosed underbelly, plus double-sided radiant barrier in the floor, walls, and front cap makes the White Hawk pretty close to a four-season unit. Number three, there's a difference in the ceiling height between the two units. Here in the Feather, we're 78 inches flat ceiling. Compared to the White Hawk, we have an 81 inch high ceiling that's barreled, arched on the top, along with a skylight. Number four, bed size. Here in the J Feather, it's 60 by 75 inch queen bed, not an option for a king bed. Compare that to the White Hawk, where you have a 60 by 80 inch queen bed as standard, or the option for a king bed, like this unit. Here in the J Feather, we have a smart TV, a Bluetooth capable radio in the entertainment center. Meanwhile, over here in the White Hawk, smart TV, radio, and a fireplace. Now before I point out the differences, I should probably point out what's the same between the White Hawk and the Feather. Of course, the warranty is the same. It's Jayco's industry leading two plus three warranty on both units. If we start up on the top, the roof structures are going to be the same. It's what Jayco calls the Magnum Truss roof system, a 4,500 pound weight rating on both units. Coming down to the sidewalls, both of the sidewall assemblies are gonna be vacuum bonded sidewalls. It virtually eliminates the possibility of delamination over the lifetime of the coach. Going down farther, looking at the wheels, they both have nice alloy wheels, both on the Feather and the White Hawk. Okay, let's talk windows. Here on the J Feather, you have clamp style safety tinted windows that slide to open. Compare that to the White Hawk that are tilt out frameless windows. Let's talk propane tanks. Here on the J Feather, two 20 pound propane tanks as standard. Hopping over to the White Hawk, now we have two 30s instead of 20s on the propane. Now, here on the J Feather, you're going to have manual quick drop stabilizers. Compare that to the White Hawk, where you have the option for powered stabilizing jacks. Here on the Feather, you have twist lock baggage doors. Compare that to the White Hawk, where you have slam latch baggage doors that are much thicker. And our final key difference here on the J Feather, the entry door width is 26 inches. Compare that to the White Hawk where we have a 30 inch wide entry door. Okay, let's move on the inside of these two units and point out some key differences interior wise. Starting with the toilets, here in the J Feather, you're going to get a foot flush acrylic toilet. Compare that to the White Hawk where we have a porcelain foot flush toilet. Okay, let's talk refrigerator size. Here on the J Feather, you'll get an 8 cubic foot 12 volt refrigerator as standard. Now, hopping over to the White Hawk, you can enjoy a 10 cubic foot 12 volt refrigerator with matching decor inserts. Starting in the galley of the J Feather, you'll have seamless countertops here, while in the bathroom, you'll have laminate countertops. Compare that to the White Hawk, where we have seamless countertops in the galley and the bathroom as well. Let's talk about the slide room differences. Here in the J Feather, we do have LED lighting inside the slide room, nice roller shades throughout with reflective coating on the outside. Compare that to the White Hawk, where we also have LED lighting in the ceiling, our roller shades, but also decorative lighting in a sconce, lighting over the dinette, 
and additional lighting on the floor. Now here in the J feather, it's optional to have this J command command center. Compare that to the White Hawk, where the J command is now standard. You can control all the functions of this unit from here or from your phone, standard. Hey guys, thanks for joining me on this comparison video between a Feather and a White Hawk. I hope it's been helpful for you. Hey, why don't you click like and subscribe below? That way you'll be the first to know when we post more videos like this. And as always, thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.